Well, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is a martial arts based on ground fighting and submission holds. It originated in Brazil in the 1920s and became popular here in America in the last 30 years. It can take a decade or longer to become a black belt, but we have a few here in the area. In today's In Their Shoes, we introduce you to one Jiu Jitsu master teaching authentic Brazilian moves to students here on the coast. Hey y'all, guess where we are? We are at Road Jam over here in Gulfport, about to get our jujitsu on. Introducing the one, the only. This is Santiago Farina. He is a black belt jujitsu master, and he's from Brazil. Oi, to the bem? To the bem, obrigado. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Now, what most people don't realize is. I was an exchange student in Brazil, so I love Brazil. I know a lot about Brazil, but what I don't know is about jiu-jitsu. So tell me, why in the world do you love jiu-jitsu? Um, I'm from Brasilia, I'm born in Argentina, grew up in Brasilia. My mother was diplomatic. She worked as, for the embassy. That's how I ended up uh, living in Brazil. So I started jiu-jitsu when I was uh, nine years old. I was a very hyper kid. Uh, my mother wanted to put me in some sort of a discipline sport and martial arts. So she went ahead and told me, let's go and look up for a, a karate school. And I ended up um, going to a gym where it was several martial arts. I ended up looking into um, karate. And then in the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu instructor was there, who is Bernardo Pitel. Uh, four times world champion and who gave me my black belt today. And uh, he told me, uh, why you don't come and try this class? And I ended up trying that class and today I am, till this day, training Jiu Jitsu. Am I ready to do some Jiu Jitsu? <laughs> yes, you are. You have the belt, you have the gi on, everything. All right, I am ready. Yes. What are you going to teach me today? So today I just wanted to show some basic self-defense uh, movements that we use in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you know, very common. Um, so a lot of the times uh, somebody can come and approach you, you know, if you don't know the person and try to reach onto you, uh -oh. like your hand, like that, or your arm, that's very common to you. If I am stronger than you, you're not going to be able to just break the grip with one hand and pull away. So you need to use your other hand, reach into your wrist, and then you pull away, but you bend your arm, you see, that's the, that's the technique. So the next movement that I wanted to teach you was, I reach for your wrist, you're gonna break the grip the same way, but in this time, you turn too much. When you break the grip, you use too much power. So what you're gonna do now, you're gonna reach for my wrist, the one that is on the top, yes. And then you're gonna wrap it around with your other arm and reach for your own wrist. That's gonna turn into a K-lock, so Kimura lock. Now you're gonna punch down without letting go on your hand and turn. Right there, she got me good on the Kimura. That's, a, you can see how my arm is bent. And if she keeps bending, I'm going to roll because I don't want to get injured. That will give her time enough to run, to get somebody and help, or to just, you know, get away from the situation or end up on control of the situation. What is, what is the number one thing that people get wrong when it comes to jiu-jitsu? I think people get more wrong when it comes to jiu-jitsu is that you're going to get hurt or that you're going to be... Um, getting some injuries off of it. No, it's nothing like that. We normally here, we're trying to get a good workout. We're wanting to get you to learn self-defense, to meet good people, and to be able to be in around a good group. That's what we're trying to get here, guys. Ah! Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me think, let me think. There we go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for interviewing with Thank us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Oos. Oos. <laughs> <laughs> 